Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for We Can Never Go Home, issue one by Black Mask. Um, I've never read a book from Black Mask before, but I'll let you know how I found out about this book. But uh, before I start talking about this, just want to give you guys a little update. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 90, and that's the show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are those exclusive comics. We got Little Mermaid issue two. Secret Origins, issue 11. Effigy, issue 3. Morning Glories, issue 44. Daredevil, issue 14. Legendary Star Lord, issue 10. Nova, issue 28. Future's End, issue 47. Batman Eternal, issue 51. Earth 2 World's End, issue 25. And Electra issue 11. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno episode 90, which is annotated. But let's talk about We Can Never Go Home issue 1. So um, I saw some buzz about this comic um, maybe a week or two ago. I saw on Twitter, like, um, Entertainment Weekly was doing an article on it, and I've seen a lot of, like, Twitter social media buzz about this book. And I looked at the preview, and I'm like, whoa, this actually looks really cool. So I did get this comic in print. I had, you know, this is a comic we usually get digitally, too. But uh, I was like, you know what, I gotta get, I gotta get this printed. It looks really, really cool. And uh, I'm glad I did, which I'll let you know why. And look at this. It, it Just the cover it looks really cool and... 1989 it's uh, based in it. It looks so trendy. I love it. Love the cover. But let's see what's going on with the story. So with this issue we get to see that um, this boy, he has like this gun. Um, he is just alone trying to do shooting practice and then he sees that this girl is making out with her boyfriend who's like oh well, let's see who this girl is and they all end up you know going to school together. They, they kind of all know each other and uh, the boyfriend ends up fighting um, our the the guy who's doing shooting practice. I think his name's Ethan. And uh, the girlfriend, uh, Madison, she gets upset about um, her boyfriend doing this, and we find out that she has superpowers. Uh, and everyone, and now her boyfriend thinks she's a freak. And Ethan and Madison, they're starting to get closer, uh, learning a little bit about each other. And uh, Madison learns that Ethan also has a power. Ethan. Um, killed his mom with his mind. Uh, so he has the power to kill people, but only he's killed his mom. He has not killed anyone else, I guess, because he hasn't really had a reason to. Uh, after that, they go to school. They, they still, you know, like each other. Uh, but the, so, uh, the society of school, the, the social structure of school, don't really allow them to interact with each other until everyone thinks that Madison is a freak now because she's hanging out with uh, Ethan. Uh, and Ethan trying to get closer to Madison, giving her a mixtape, and, uh, Madison wants to say thank you, so she goes to his house and sees that Ethan's getting beat up by his, his father, and Madison gets upset about this and punches, uh, Ethan's father, and Ethan's, Ethan's father ends up dying, and, uh, they're gonna have to run, that's why they can never go home. Uh, I really, really, really enjoyed this book. First of all, the artwork, I felt, fit the tone of the book so well. This 1989 setting, uh, which I feel like is a, de you know, a year that comics don't usually go back to, you know? Uh, it's kind of a weird random year, but I really liked the tone, the setting, this mixtape that they're using. Um, it feels dated in a great way, uh, and also something that really impressed me with the book, not just the artwork, which I think the artwork was beautiful, again, it just fit the tone of this book so well, um, but the characters. Uh, if it wasn't for the characters being so unique, um, the dialogue, um, this whole one page, usually you'd be like, oh my god, look at all this dialogue, um, with most comics, but it's just so interesting, their back and forth between Ethan and Madison. Uh, these two characters you grow to really like in the first issue, and that's a goal for not just an indie comic, but any comic, just to like your main character so quickly. By the first scene, really, I enjoyed these characters, and you want to learn more. Um, one of my favorite lines of the issue was talking about Madison's name. Uh, she, you know, everyone calls her Madison, but she hates her name. She hates that it's uh, a nowhere place in Wisconsin. Um, I think it was Wisconsin, maybe it was Wyoming, some W place, let me see if I can't find it. But she also said uh, it's also a, a main street in New York, but a street I'll never go to. Uh, so that little interaction between her and um, 
Ethan, I thought was just a great line. Um, so these characters were really the best part of this book. Um, and then the cliffhanger, the cliffhanger of Madison killing somebody. Will we learn more about Madison's powers and her past and Ethan's past? Are they connected in some in some way? Uh, it's, you know, all these questions you just get from the first issue. So overall, I really, really enjoyed We Can Never Go Home. It makes me excited to read issue two. I want to look more to Black Mask as a, a comic book company, seeing what other books they have. Uh, and I think it's only a miniseries, which is a shame, because I would love to see this as an ongoing. And um, I saw Mike's uh, Mike Spire Slayer's review, because he, he did a review for this also, because I recommend everyone on Frontline uh, read it. And he said that, and I do agree with this uh, theory, that he thinks that Ethan's probably not the best guy, and he's manipulating Madison, which I I think is something that could happen too because there's been a little signs in this book that that's possible. First of all, Ethan's already trying to kick Madison out of this area. He's like, oh, why are you not leaving? Blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, I have a full scholarship. I am leaving. But I also have all these things here, so I have to wait until college. So he's already trying to push Madison out. Uh, so, and why was he shooting a gun, you know? Uh, why has he... It, well, if he hated his father so much in the end and Madison kills a father and doesn't really care, why didn't he kill his father by himself, you know? It's it's some interesting questions here that I think Ethan as a character is very mysterious and I'm excited to see their friendship grow, but at the same time, is it a mutual friendship, or is Ethan using her? Uh, so overall, again, We Can Never Go Home is something I really recommend. It was such a under-the-radar book that a lot of people didn't hear about it, but read it. It's my pick of the week. It just blew me away. This is how you do a first issue, not just for an indie company, for any comic book. So if you haven't read it and you haven't heard of it, pick this up. It was really, really great, and I can't wait for issue two. So I give We Can Never Go Home five stars, and this is my pick of the week. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, the description below, there's links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. Don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later.